hello everybody welcome back to our channel learn execute grow today we're going to discuss about how to create lovs and record groups in oracle forms so let's get started so this is my customer name field where we're going to make an lov okay to make an lov we have two parts in oracle forms one is record group and one is LOV. So this is the record group which is already created and this is my LOV. To create an LOV, you need to select an LOV and click on plus button and click on LOV wizard. In the LOV wizard, we have two options whether to modify existing record group or create a new record group. Okay. So in this in the query section, you need to put a query. We already have a query and we put a query. In this column section, we need to have record group and LOV column. We need to select LOV column. And then in the column display, we have this option. We can change the title also. And return value is nothing but a uh, return value is nothing but my lookup item return where we need to assign block with the column map we will basically will be mapping column with the block dot field name and we click on automatically size column it will size the lov automatically now click on next here we can put the lov titles and we can set the width and height by default we can let it be then click on next now we can put so it will 10 rows at a time will be retrieved in the oracle forms lov and we'll click on the refresh record group data before displaying it will refresh the lov and we'll let the user field we will check that one so it will pop up another window and here we have write return item assign item in which item we want to assign to lov that we need to select here now click on finish once we finish this, if you will see, there will be two things. One is record group and one is LOV. So both are important things. We, we always have a query in my record group. If you click on right click on property palette and see we have a record group where we have the query. Okay, this is the customer query coming from AR customer tables and and this is my record group completed now we will go to the for forms field and we'll check whether LOV is, is assigned or not now come go to the property palette come down and you see here list of value is there where LOV cast name is assigned and LOV position is 2 and validate from this is yes that means it will always validate from this it will not allow other value apart from LOV's value so this conclude our sessions hope you will learn something if you really like the video do likes and subscribe